Hi, and welcome to video number nine. In this video, you're gonna learn how to delete, how to copy, how to move files around, how to create a folder, and much, much more. Now, obviously, in the previous video, we uploaded these files, these images, and this index.html file. Let me show you how to delete files. If I delete, let's say, this file right here, then if I go to live site, I should not even see this page. See, so the index.html file disappeared. But if I go into the images folder, then I can actually view the images. So you can use FTP for just uploading images and uploading files if you want to. In fact, I upload a lot of video files, zip files, and so forth. And if you are wondering how to unzip and zip files, I will show you that in video number 11. But you can, as you can see, you can upload files. Let's say you have a domain, you just want it to store files. You can do that just by doing this. But if I want to fix the problem, I could always drag and drop it over again. There's not necessarily a way to revert or, or redo or undo what you've done with FTP. So you need to be very, very careful and just keep that in mind. So I showed you how to delete files. The next thing I want to show you to do is copy or move files over. Uh, obviously, if you want to copy files, you could copy it from the PC over. So if I want to copy to the CGI bin folder, I can do that as well. And in terms of moving files, if I want to move the index.html to another folder, let's say for example, that I want to create a folder. If you want to create a folder, right click in a white space. Do not right click here, but just right click here. Click on create directory and then name the folder. So let's say for example that I am going to have many, many different products and then I call it FTP warmup and I want to move these files over here. So if I move that into here, and then I go to the main page here, you'll notice that what I see here is what I see here. So I only see two folders here, I only see two folders here. But if I click on this, I pretty much see what I saw earlier because I moved the files to this folder. So as you can see, if you right click, you can do a lot. And then if I want to move this file back to the, the main site, I can do that. You see these dot dot? Dot dot means that it's the folder above that. So if I go dot dot above that, then as you can see, I can see these folders, but I don't want to upload to this folder because I want to upload to the public underscore HTML file. So let's say I want to move it to a next level above I could either do it this way by dragging it and dropping into the dot dot, or I could use interact between this folder and this folder. So I could upload it to the public underscore HTML here, as you can see here. So that means I uploaded it. You don't see it here, but if I go to the main site, you see it there. So as you can see, those are just a few tricks that you can use to delete, copy, move files, create a folder, and interact between these two folders or two boxes, and so forth. Now, like I said earlier, just be careful with what you do because you cannot undo what you do unless you have a backup of what you do. So let's move on to video number two. I just want to say at this point, you are done with working with FileZilla and uploading files to FileZilla. Video number 10, we're gonna talk about website rules 101, and of course, video number 11, and we're gonna talk about cPanel and how to transfer files without having to use FileZilla if you don't have the software on your computer.